guys and welcome to another Minecraft video. In this tutorial I will show you how to see the storage building you see in your screen right now. Uh, it's a design built by Oscar and I think it looks really good. Um, it's not that big a tutorial but I wanted to record something because I haven't recorded in quite a while and that's because I, I've just been too busy. It's been too hot to record uh, today for example. It's already like really hot So I have to have my window open so you can hear like all the nice like mopeds and cars and like bicycles and people talking So I apologize for like the background noise, but I, I didn't have any other options this time. I'm so sorry It's way too hot. Anyways without further ado. Let's just get right into this video So we're going to start with the front side of uh, this build uh, and for that, what you want to do is to create a four block high pillar right here. Um, this four blocks. Then leave one block three, another four block high pillar. Then leave two blocks three, another four block high pillar. Then one block three and another four block high pillar. Then we're moving on to um, the right side of the build. Like the, this is the front side of the build and the entrance is going to be right here in the middle. Now we're going to move on to the right side of the build. And what you want to do for that is to basically first leave three blocks three place uh, a, blah, 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 a lock right there make that two blocks high then uh, leave another three blocks free and and then another four block high pillar like that and the back side is basically going to be the same as the front side for now so a four block high pillar one block in between a four block high pillar two blocks in between a four block high pillar and one block and then another four block high pillar like that and the same for the middle just um, leave three blocks then a pillar of two then another three blocks wonderful now what you want to do is uh, connecting sideways to this um, two block high pillar are going to be two locks just like this same thing of course for this side like so then in between um, these four block high pillars on the sides it's going to be uh, a continuous beam of uh, side locks just like that uh, instead in these places where the blocks you play placed previously connect with the beam there's going to be an outward facing lock just like so of course the same thing on this side as well now um, right there yes we've gone to the front side um, no, actually, we're going to the sides. Connecting to the side of uh, these four block high pillars in the corners, there's going to be uh, an outward facing lock connecting to the top block. So same thing on this side, uh, an outward facing lock connecting to the top part of this pillar. Same thing on this side as well, and right here as well. So uh, it should look something like this for now. Moving on, that's all for the first floor. Moving on to the second floor, what you want to do is uh, for the front side, you're going to place a, um, a three block high pillar starting from this top block. So right here you place one block, then you place two more blocks on top, just like that. And the same thing, of course, for the other side as well. Then what you want to do is to place one side block, just like that, and one side block, just like that. Uh, and underneath here, there's going to be a continuous row of side wheel locks, just like so. Um, except for right here. No, you, it doesn't matter. You can just place a side wheel lock right there. Uh, just right here on the second side wheel lock from uh, this side, there's going to be an outward facing lock. Uh, and same thing on this side. On the second lock on this side, there's going to be an outward facing lock. Then on top of this um, this side block where you just place the other lock there's going to be a three block high pillar so one two three just like so and one two three just like so and then for the finishing touch what you want to do is in between uh, these two um, locks you just place these these two pillars you just place there's going to be these two side blocks just like that and that's all for the front side now moving on to the sides the sides are very easy, what you want to do um, is to basically place a two block high pillar uh, on top of these outward facing locks. Same thing of course on the other side as well. And then 
place a row of side blocks in between until you are right here on the other side and then we're going to do something similar as we did on that side on the back side as well so um, for the back side it's basically the same as you did on the front side so this one is a three block high pillar starting from the top part of this pillar um, then you place one side block like so one side block like so create a row of side blocks in between there then two outward facing locks just like that place a row of locks um, on the second side block from um, both sides just like so and connect them in the middle like this so as you can see the front side and the back side right now are identical um, the difference will come later on when we're done with um, like the detailing with the cranes with the doors everything so what you want to do we're going to move on to filling in the walls and for that for the first floor uh, you're going to start with um, a base material and for this we're going to use um, cobblestone and literally just fill in everything except for where like the windows and the wall uh, the door is going to be for so for the front side um, the door is going to be right here on it doesn't really matter where, just do it where you think it's most convenient. Um, for now, just do it on the right side here. So please uh, fill the rest in with cobblestone. Same thing on the sides for the windows. So what you want to do, just fill everything in, like so. Same thing here, fill everything in, like so. Except for this middle part, this middle part is going to be a window. Same thing, of course, on the other side as well. Then. Uh, what you want to do, we're going to do add, immediately add some like decorations on the side. It's going to be a two block high pillar with a uh, cobblestone stair on top, like so, and then replace the middle one with an upside down cobblestone stair, just like that. And this is going to be like the supports of the build. Uh, obviously you have to do the same thing on the other side as well. Uh, for the back side, what you want to do is just literally fill in everything, just like that. Fill this in. And the side is going to be the same as the other side, so fill everything in. The randomization will come at the end. Leave a hole here for a window, then a uh, triple high pillar, of cobblestone, stairs on top, and upside down stair in the middle, just like that. And that's um, almost all for the, the first floor. What you want to do is in this corner, you're going to place a cobblestone stair and the two corners at the back connecting to um, the cobblestone wall is going to be uh, just a single cobblestone stair so um, just as these were supports for the build so are these these are just like holding the wall up you, you don't need to do them everywhere so right here just leave one free um, it adds a bit more randomization if you just do it on one side and not on the other anyways moving on to um, the second floor or the first floor if you're like from Europe um, basically what you want to do here is to fill in everything with wool except for where the windows are going to be uh, and the door obviously and right here the door is going to be diagonal from where the front door is and here there's going to be a little balcony we're going to have our little spices and stuff so fill in everything on the sides this will mostly be covered up by, by the roofing and then for the back there's going to be it's a singular window right here. Just like that. Wonderful. Isn't it wonderful? Yes, it is wonderful. Just fill in everything just like so. Now you've filled in all the walls. Wonderful. We're going to move on to the roof first. And uh, once we're done with the roof, we're going to do all the detailing and then we're basically done. The roof is probably the most difficult part of this entire build. Um, and we're going to start on the sides, I think, yes. Uh, and what you want to do is to take out your oak wooden stairs first and create a row of oak wooden stairs connecting to um, this side block uh, row you previously placed. And make sure it has an overhang of um, one block. Yeah, for now. 
doesn't really matter. Just make sure you do that. Okay, same goes for um, the next row. Just a row of uh, oak wooden stairs all the way to the other side. Then for the next row, what you want to do is um, again a row of oak wooden stairs. Um, but ex this time you don't have an overhang of one block. So you make sure it's all filled in and all nice. Yes, like that. Okay. Same here. Okay. Now we're going to come. Now we have come to the m a bit more difficult part. Um. What you want to do now is to replace all these um, stairs that were sitting on this side for look and replace them with corner stairs, just like so. Now we're going to take out our slabs and now it's going to be slab city and it's going to be great. What you want to do is we're going to create uh, an even bigger overhang, like so, by creating two slabs and place one slab connecting to this stair. Of course, the same thing on this side as well. Just like that. Then what you want to do is um, going to place a... Um, let's see. First, we're going to place a row of planks all the way from this look to this look connected to this row of stairs. Oh, and of course, um, on this side you have to do the exact same as you did on the other side. It's just like so. Um, so everything, like, okay, I'm not going to focus on that side for now, I'm just going to do this side and you have to like copy everything I do here on that side as well. So I'll save some time in the video uh, and it doesn't really matter that much. Okay, so once you've done that, um, you're going to take out a spruce wooden stair. Um, spruce wooden stairs, spruce wooden stairs. There. And we're going to place a spruce wooden stair connecting to this lock, like so. Then on top of that spruce wooden stair, there is going to be another plank. Same thing, of course, on the other side as well. And connected to that plank, there's going to be a normal stair, just like so continuing the roof. Then in the middle, what you want to do is to create two upside down stairs just like so and then two slabs connected to them. So you have this weird looking roof shape which actually looks really interesting. Now what you want to do, um, we're going to create the, the middle of the roof and for that uh, I'll first finish off uh, this side. So we're going to just do the same thing as we did on the other side. More planks. Oh, not a bun. Planks, yes. More stairs, just like so. Um, upside down stairs in between here. And two wooden slabs, just like that. Okay. Now what we want to do is we're going to create a row of slabs in between here. Okay, now we're going to move on to uh, decorating this roof, because as you can see, um, this roof looks really plain. I actually already recorded this part, but for some reason my recording software stopped working and I have to do like 10 minutes like over and I'm really mad now. Anyways, um, for randomization what you want to do is to just poke some holes in this roof. And it's literally nothing more than that. And you can do this in a few ways. For example, what you can do is you can place um, an upside down stair with some um, slabs on top. Like so maybe some stairs 
maybe just play some random upside down stairs, maybe just poke some holes in it like so, place some oak wooden slabs, or don't, doesn't really matter. Um, behind it, like so, you could also just make some bigger holes, for example, you just place two, like so, and place some slabs behind it like that. You could actually, uh, for the top part, actually just extend that a bit, um, make this a bit more random. You could also just do something like this. It doesn't really matter. Just poke some holes in it um, and just keep playing with this until it looks good. And there's no real way for me to explain or like show you every single like hole I poke in it. Just just do some random stuff. So f for example this, um, it already looks quite a bit better than what it did before because it's already a bit more random. Um, now for the top part here, what you can do um, is for example right here in the middle, just replace a few of these middle parts with stairs. Uh, maybe a corner stair here, maybe even um, make this one a corner stair, oh, no, not that way, maybe this way. Make that one a corner stair, maybe do a few here as well, doesn't really matter, but just even by doing this already, it looks quite a bit better, maybe extend this one a bit. Um, just, just keep playing with it, like right now it already looks a bit more pointy, a bit more random, and I think it looks a lot better already. Now, we're going to move on to the randomization, uh, and what we're first going to do is to take out our logs, and we're going to place a four block long log connecting to um, this wool block just uh, at the corner of this door. And this is going to be the crane. Um, then what we want to do is take out our spruce wooden stairs and our spruce wooden slabs, and we're going to support this build, or make this build look a bit more supported. And we're going to do that by placing um, spruce wooden stairs underneath um, these places where there's these logs um, protruding out, just like so. Then you cover up the side block that was underneath, make it a bit more like a nice looking, I think. And then in the corners here, what you want to do is to place a slab underneath and a slab um, protruding out, like so. Same thing on all sides, just like that. Um, and already the build looks a lot more supported, but you could also do uh, underneath here. So first, get yourself some random stuff, doesn't matter what block, and then place some spruce wooden fence gates underneath uh, all these beams. Same thing on the other side as well. So just place some stuff there, you will move later, and then some spruce wooden fence gates underneath the beams, just like so. And already the build looks a lot better. Now what you want to do is to take out your um, wooden buttons and your stone buttons, place wooden buttons on all the logs that are protruding out, like these, and uh, these, and place them on like the lighter part, just like that, and of course on the um, crane as well. And then place stone buttons on these four, or the, yeah, on two on each side. Um, on the outer facing logs that are actually inside the wall. Wonderful. Once you've done that, um, you're gonna take out your fences. Oh, uh, no, not your fences, your signs. And place signs uh, all the way, not all the way, uh, on the side here at the front and all the way on the back, connecting to all the side blocks. Just like that. Then on the side, what you can do is um, on one side, can do for example two, and on the other side you can do for example one, just like that. Add a bit more variation. Same thing like on the other side as well. So two on the side, maybe one on that side. Doesn't really matter. Let's make it a bit more varied. Wonderful. Now what you want to do is take out your um, spruce fences and place them underneath, um, underneath these protruding side blocks uh, on the all sides, of course, just like so. Then we're going to take out our iron bars and um, we're going to make this crane look a bit better by placing like three, four, something like that iron bars from the last um, log block in this crane hand. Now, uh, we're going to decorate the front side a bit more by placing a balcony here and you do that by placing four top slabs connecting to uh, these logs 
just like that. And the last slab you're going to place is a top slab connecting to this lock, uh, just like that. And we're going to take out our signs again before um, because I forgot four. I'm going to place two right here and two right here in the middle of the crane. Just like that. And that's basically all for the detailing. Right now we're going to move on to the last part and that is randomization. And randomization in this build um, is quite easy. Uh, for the bottom floor what you're going to do is you're going to take out your cobblestone stairs, your smooth stone, your ender side and for the second floor you're going to take out your light grey wool. Um, and on the bottom floor you just go hem place some some end side here and there place some smooth stone and random places place some um, oh there was already one there um, some stairs in the wall to make it look cracked make it look as if it's like deteriorating and some stones are missing something like that you know make some smooth stone who knows this side just put some holes in it like that like that so, and the side here and there just do it at the random places you can also randomize the supports by replacing this uh, bottom block with something else and the same thing for hold on I want to make this look good much better uh, maybe yes okay and then for the top part what you want to do is to add some light gray wool to random places um, in the wall here so for example here maybe something like that Here's something like this, and that one as well, there, and just like so, and just like that. Um, a few things I forgot, we're going to fill in the windows now. This window is going to be a uh, spruce fence, this one is going to be a spruce fence, and this one is going to be a spruce fence. And for the very last part, I'm going to place a door, and I'm going to use a spruce spruce wooden door because I think spruce wood looks really good in like older and like medieval buildings and just like that the build is basically done so that was pretty much it for this video uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching it and uh, I again apologize for all like the background noise and like the mopeds like like that yeah Great timing, mate. Um, anyways, um, I hope you've w enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Also, subscribe to all the people in the description below. Tell us in the comments below what you want to see next time. And we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Uh,